In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can solve one-step equations using the division principle. As a preface, I want to encourage you to show your work like I'm showing my work in this video, because we're learning a process that is going to be one we want to be very comfortable with as we move on to more involved problems. Even if you can do these in your head, I do want you to show your work. To set up the division principle, though, we're going to consider this problem 3x equals 6. When we see 3x equals 6, that means 3 times x, or we have 3x's represented here. Notice that's different than 3 plus x, but 3 times the x. Because we have 3x's represented, we'll show them here, 1, 2, 3x's, equal to or balancing with 6 positives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 positives, okay? Well, we want to know what one of these x's is, not all three, but what one of these x's is. We're interested in a single one of these x's. So what we might do is we might put them each into a capsule here, into three capsules. We've split it up into three parts. Each of those parts are exactly the same, so what we want to do is on the other side, we'll split it up into three parts that are each exactly the same as well. And what we see is each of those parts is corresponding with 2. So x must represent the number of 2. The way we can show this on our problem as we balance through the equal sign to show the splitting up is we'll use a synonym of split up, which is to divide them into groups. We have 3x's, so we're going to divide it into 3 groups on both sides. When 3's are divided, they'll divide out, leaving just the x behind, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. And that's how we'll show our work, by dividing both sides by the number. To clear multiplication, then, we do just the opposite of multiplying, which is to divide both sides by the number. And I want to stress that we divide by the number. A common error I see is students divide by the variable. Never divide by a variable, ever. There's reasons for that that we won't get into here, but never divide by a variable. Okay, let's try some examples. Here, we have 7x equal to 147. As we balance through the equal sign, we notice that the 7 is right next to x, which means the operation is multiplication. We have 7 x's. We want to know what one of the x's is, and so we need to split it up or divide out the 7 on both sides. The 7's then will divide out, leaving just x, which is equal to 7 goes into 14 twice, and to 7 once, x must equal 21. We can verify this answer by checking it, replacing the x with the 21 we found. Is 7 times 21 equal to 147? Well, 7 times 2 is 14, and 7 times 1 is 7, so sure enough, we get 147 on both sides. It checks out. Our solution, x equals 21, is the only number for x that makes the original equation a true equation. Let's try one more. In this problem, we have negative 8x is equal to 72. Notice this is different than negative 8 plus x, or x minus 8. Because the x is right next to the negative 8, we know that means multiplication. The opposite of multiplication, then, is we have to divide both sides by the number, the exact same number, negative 8, on both sides. That way, the negative 8's divide out, leaving just x is equal to negative 9. We can quickly check that answer by plugging the negative 9 in for x. Negative 8 times negative 9, is it equal to 72? Negative times negative is a positive, 72. Same thing on both sides, it checks. Our answer, x equals negative 9, is correct. It is the value for x the only value that makes the equation a true equation. The division principle, we get rid of multiplication by dividing both sides by the number. 